The Magic Metal event is the newest event in Clash of Clans with an amazing new epic equipment for the Archer Queen and a ton of new rewards to pick from. So in this video, not only are we going to talk about the best way to complete the event, but we're also going to be talking about the best rewards for free to play players, for pass buyers, for those who like decorations, and for players of all town hall levels. Literally, this video is going to be the end all be all reward guide for this event. Furthermore, I'm going to be talking about some things that you might be missing out on that could further boost your efficiency during this month. Let's first talk about how you're going to get medals to spend in the first place. You guys probably already saw that we need to defeat wizard towers to get magic crystals for this event. In the beginning you can get about 300 medals per attack. Now there's 5 wizard towers on most bases but only 3 of them are going to have crystals. And at 3000 points you'll be able to unlock the broom witch which is the strongest event troop that we have. Now I'm not even going to hold you guys, 3000 points can be a lot to get to even if you buy the event pass but if you follow the these tips you're actually gonna get there a lot faster. First pop a good old handy dandy training potion. Ah we love you training potions. Next up queue up some lightning and earthquake spells and of course the rocket loons. Put the giant arrow, fireball, spiky ball and rocket spear on your heroes and also train up some good old flame flingers. Now absolutely go to town and destroy the enemy. The goal is to use this arsenal that you got to completely annihilate any and all easy wizard towers on the edge of the base and if you want to do this efficiently make sure you use the infinite use things first so that you don't have to wait for them to retrain. This includes hero equipment abilities to take out wizard towers that are on the side and for core wizard towers simply earthquake and zap them out. You can also use rocket loons if your heroes are down to take advantage of the wizard towers that are on the side. And who could forget the flame flinger? I mean I couldn't. I mean flame flinger I love you. Okay, this is just weird. Your number one objective with all of this is just to unlock the Broom Witch within that first hour. After that, all you need to do is just spam the Broom Witch. She is really good and has some of the best artwork in my opinion. Okay, so now you have medals and you're rich and famous, what do you spend your medals on? Now obviously the equipment will get the most buys and for good reason. Not only does it spawn more Archer Queens, but it gives you a cop out and gives you extra hit points and it gives you really good health regeneration. This is the first epic equipment since the giant gauntlet that really gives you that epic feel. But I'm not going to pretend like the most expensive decoration in the history of metal events isn't a really awesome thing too, so if this is what you want, this is also another viable option. And then ores, which is literally impossible to avoid talking about, it is one of the most vital aspects to Clash of Clans. It's hard to believe a year ago they didn't even exist in the game. But nostalgia aside, whether you're a free to play player or a pass player, I'm going to break down the best packs for you that should apply to all town hall levels. We'll start with the free to play players first. If you max the event, you get 3,750 medals as a free to play player. There's already bonus magic medals as well, as you can get 150 for free with the link in the description or the QR code right here. So I'm going to give you two options that you can get as a free to play player. If you decide to get the magic mirror efficiency package, which is what I would recommend for every free to play player then these are the things that you should buy magic mirror for 3100 medals two packs of glowy ores and then just resources but hold off on the resources because if we get 40 more medals from anything any codes or anything at all then you can buy another pack of glowy ore and just for completion we're buying glowy ore because it's currently the limiting resource when we're upgrading equipment now if you like the new decoration instead and you'd rather miss on the equipment then you could just replace the previous package and the rules that went with it with the kawaii giant of course of course you could get books and a bunch of ores if you decide to skip out on the equipment and the decoration but I'm not going to go ahead and work that out because the equipment really is that good and you should definitely get it. Also the efficiency package that I spoke about initially is the best for all town hall levels because the equipment is going to be really good for you and the ores can be applicable to all town halls. And quick note it does look like they reduce the amount of medals that you can get free to play because there is no skin this time around and that really stinks so I hope they give us a bunch of bonus codes. Moving on to those who have the event pass, you can get a lot of rewards from buying the event pass, but you shouldn't buy it in game. Go online instead and buy on the Supercell store because it'll give you bonus rewards and make sure to use a creator code. I unfortunately do not have one yet, but 
Hopefully, fingers crossed, that changes soon. With the pass, you'll get 9,250 base medals, which becomes 9,400 with the link in the description. And for those of you that are sharp, you already picked up that the pass this time will actually give us more medals than it did in the past. So if you're a spender, this is definitely a good event pass to get. These are the few packages that I would recommend for players. For the full efficiency package, you can get a magic mirror for 3,100, three books between the books of building and books of fighting, and then two packs of glowy or. This package is perfect for players who don't need ores for their equipment but still have a lot of upgrades to do. But if you are a low level player, and that means any player below Town Hall 14, do not buy this pack because you can't even get optimal magic item value yet and you would be wasting your medals. Okay that's great and all, but what if you're a player who wants the brand new queen equipment and you want to get it to the highest level possible immediately? Well then, we need to do a little bit of math for you. It's an absolute minimum that you get this Archer Queen to level 18 because that is the point where you get an extra clone. So let's take a look at how many ores you get from the event itself. You get 5,000 shiny ores, 1,000 glowy ore, and 80 starry ore. Now according to this chart right here, the cumulative cost for level 18 on epic equipment is 27,000 shiny ore, 1,920 glowy ore, and 110 shiny ore. Even if you balled out on shiny Shiny ore, you wouldn't get anywhere close to level 18. Instead, this is the combination that I would recommend for you to get maximum efficiency in the long run when you're upgrading this equipment. Magic Mirror, 10 packs of glowy ores, 6 packs of starry ores, and 4 packs of shiny ores, and then just resources. But again, wait on the resources just in case we get a little bit more and you can buy an extra pack of shiny ores. This is the pack that I would recommend for all players. I think it's really good and it gives you a huge power spike. But what if you want the magic mirror and the kawaii giant and you want to be efficient as well i would recommend this pack right here with the magic mirror the giant 10 packs of glowy ore and one pack of starry ore this allows you to be efficient and still get the things that you want but what if you want all the decorations and the equipment because you are a collector then i would get this package right here the equipment kawaii giant both new decorations and then four packs of glowy ore to top it off but forget all that what if your name is sen fgr and you want everyone to know really how good you are at clan capital then you would buy all the clan capital decorations i'm just joking of course but i really like how this set looks so that's it for all of the packs but there are some additional tips that you need to use if you want to super boost your efficiency during this event the first one being that we have the largest building boost ever if you take the 12 percent from the building bonanza and possible boost from the gold pass pair this with the goblin builder and it really is a menacing combination but of course, you're gonna need a lot more resources to sustain this type of speed, which is why the 30% training boost is your best friend here. A lot of the times, we just focus on the brand new equipment and the ores, but the 30% training boost is really big for farming, and with the other events that we have going on, it's really good synergistically. So of course, you should have this event done ASAP, but I would also recommend that you play really hard in the next three weeks to take advantage of these boosts. Now, I will be making a video soon about the brand new queen equipment and the synergy combinations because it's completely shaken up the meta for the archer queen. But the best combinations for all the other heroes remain unchanged and the pros know what they are but the question is, do you? Well, if you don't know and you want to be the best player that you can possibly be, then go ahead and check out this video right here where I break down the best combinations currently in the game for all heroes in Clash of Clans. 